Hi, I'm Mick Fuentes. I'm an airline pilot. I've been one for 31 years. In 2011, I decided to take the plunge and uh, go abroad to uh, work. Work is uh, not the exact term because I have always lived uh, this passion. I've never considered myself to uh, work a single day in my life because the thrill of flying runs very deep in my family. Circumstances brought about by the pandemic led to me being retrenched. So in December 2020, my family and I left Singapore to come back to Manila. This was not a, an altogether bad thing because it reunited me with the rest of my family. I would prefer now an opportunity that will allow me to be near my family. I think that pandemic has brought about that realization that what really is important is you know, to be around family members while they're still here with you. What have I been doing since uh, coming back to Manila? Um, I haven't landed a job, to be honest. But uh, what I've rediscovered is a true love for cycling. Cycling has become very, very popular. Uh, it's been taken up by people of all ages. For me, it's a great form of exercise, siempre. Pero yung pinakamasarap na extra bonus or extra na bonus pa <laughs> is it's my bonding with my children. Something happened last uh, December. I invited my cousin ko to his uh, farm, and then when I realized that it's sarap sana to have a piece of land like that. Ang sarap nun, kasi you know you're outside, you're not trapped sa bahay. Sarap nun that that. That would uh, be something that I would like. Hi, I'm Mick Fuentes. I'm a back for good OFW. For now, maybe. Hi, I'm Alma. I am a PR professional and I used to be employed for 15 years before I set up my own company in 2015. Two years ago, during the pandemic, we saw the opportunity of uh, creating a new service, which is the remote staffing. We provide marketing functions to our clients. The remote staffing, we treat it as a full-time full, full employment. We, we, want, we want to give security to those people who doesn't have jobs. The only requirement we uh, ask from our applicants is they should have a stable internet. A lot of um, companies, even the international companies, are very open in uh, hiring people who can work from home. It is very promising because our fellow Filipinos, they speak the language in English better than the other countries. So that's why they, they, their first stop is here. Uh, we love going to the beach. We love going to the province and then doing some activities with the, with the kids like uh, mountain hiking and then swimming. Uh, actually, one of our goals as a family is to have a big house beside the beach, a beach front, or beside a farm because we want big spaces, we want uh, access to nature. And if given an opportunity uh, to live there right now, I will because I can work anywhere as long as there is a stable internet. Hi, I am Alma. I'm a work from home marketing professional. I'm Gary Hidalgo. Uh, I'm a farmer. Uh, I call that myself farmer kasi yun na talagang ginagawa ko. But I started uh, landscaping. Uh, uh, yun talaga yung sinimulan ko. So, landscaping. So, nag-farm ako 2009. I list out a property lang in Cavinti. So, nung nag-start kami, one year pa lang, ang ganda na nung returns eh. Sili. Sili lang yung start namin. So, yun yung parang maanghang na sili. Then, we expanded to the long ones. Tapos nung kasagsagan ng 2012, medyo nakikilala kami sa farming namin because ang client namin, Ram, na-introduce kami kay Dole. Kami yung ni-refer. Sabi niya, oh, itong grupo na to is doing farming. Tapos medyo nakikilala sila sa industriya. So we went there, uh, we saw the two greenhouses with flowers, cut flowers yan. And they're losing money eh. Sabi namin, sige, give us two years, ganyan. Sabi na, two years, two and a half, confident kami. Positive yan. But a year after, a year or so, saglit lang eh, parang 14 months, 12 months to 14 months. Na, na transform namin, positive. Positive. Uh, Nag-vegetables kami. 
So, inano namin, tinransform namin from flower farm to vegetables. And then, we hook up with Dole. And then, the owners decided noong 2016, 2017, ganyang year, na mag-expand na rin to dragon fruits. That's about the same time when I developed the Alfonso Farm, 2016. We started with dragon fruits, but then, yun nga, yun yung parang sinasaya ko nga na parang retirement crop eh. It, it pays a lot with less uh, operations, yung dragon fruits. Pero yun nga, ang key talaga is to make it viable in the first place. So, kung farm community yan, it can support its own expenses, yung operations. So, kayang-kaya namang gawin ka agad yun eh, kung yun lang yung target mo. Bonus is, you can sell outside. May pattern na na ganito, yung mga pagod na magtrabaho, yung semi-retire issue, nagre-retire. Yan naman ang bottom line eh, magpa-farm ako in the end. Simplicity ng buhay eh. Plus, it's fresher air, more space to, to roam around. And now, people are, yung mga may pera, are buying properties outside. So, talagang marami. Ang difference lang, yung mga ibang bumibili, yung mga may pera, wala silang idea on how to do it. So, paano ko sisimulan? Bahay lang ba? Tapos, ano lang siya? Pero gusto ko may activity rin ako eh. So, hindi lang pala to parang it's a dead investment, no? Actually, it's not eh. Yung palang lupa mo, tumataas na. Pero pag inoperate mo pa pala, maglagay ka lang ng konting tao, yung income pala is better than what you can imagine. So, yun yung nagiging parang trend ngayon. Pero kailangan may guidance. Yun ang importante. I am Gary Hidalgo and I'm a farmer.